Hey Watch Fam, it's Phil here at the Loom Room. Thanks for checking in. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Vario Empire. This is a stunning little dress watch. This was loaned into the channel from Vario and full disclosure, I do not get to keep the watch and I am not getting paid for this review. Uh, so you can see this as an honest review. But I've had this on the wrist now for, oh, I'd say a good two or three weeks and it has been absolutely phenomenal to wear, spoiler alert. Uh, but before we crack on with the review, let's do a quick wristwatch check. And today I am wearing the Seiko Arnie. And I tell you what, these things couldn't be more different if you had tried. Uh, but there you go, absolutely adore this piece. And I think this is actually a Vario strap that I have this on. I think it could be a canvas or Cordura. And you've got the little bit of tanned leather there. I just think it goes very well. And that's been on the watch for a couple of years now. Uh, but let's crack on and let's take a look at the Empire. So there it is, there is the Vario Empire watch. This is in the tuxedo colour configuration, so very monochrome, basically uh, silvers and blacks. Um, and just take a look at that dial, that is absolutely stunning, uh, extremely well executed as well. If we start from the centre we can see that silvery snow white disc in the middle there and that actually has a guilloche pattern. I hope the camera is picking up the, the detail because to the eye uh, that is extremely well executed and if you move further outboard you can see the black disc with the numerals on it which are Art Deco inspired, very elegant um, and goes extremely well with the watch. There is a very slight and again, I don't know if you can pick that up. There is a, a brushing to that black disc. Again, just adds to that attention to detail. And then the, the Art Deco numerals. This is called the, the Empire Watch, so the whole thing is very Art Deco, uh, dress inspired, ve very elegant. And then the outboard minute track. We don't have numerals or anything like that. It is just small dots for the minutes and larger dots uh, to, to match the the hour markers there. I can say as well there's not going to be a loom shot within this video. Uh, there is no loom on this watch. It is a dress watch. Beautiful and nice to wear. Extremely comfortable to wear as well. Um, we're going to stick with the dial and we can take a look at the handset. Not sure exactly what you would call the handset. It is skeletonized however and again just adding to that delicate Art Deco look to the watch, very dressy, very neat, very formal. I will be doing the usual wristwatch check later on with this um, so that you can see it on my wrist but I wore this thing out to dinner and it felt like a dream on the wrist. It will go under any cuff, it will go with pretty much any attire. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I would wear this with you know shorts and t-shirt, maybe it's a little bit too dressy for that but with this being a time only uh, there's absolutely no nonsense as well with setting dates etc. Uh, but a gorgeous piece, I'm sure you will agree. If we turn the watch on the side, you can see that mid case is fully brushed. And then you have the crown there just in the centre at the three o'clock, the very traditional three o'clock position. And is that an onion or is that a pumpkin style? Uh, it's very Art Deco, it's very old school and reminds me of the wristwatches of yesteryear. Very nice actuation on it as well, and as you can see, I can fully actuate that with gloves on as well, so you will have no problem there. We will talk about the movement a little bit later on, so it is hand winding, um, it's an automatic movement as well. Brushed mid case, um, and then you can see the, the underside of the case there is polished just to break that up, and then the top side of the case. You could call that the bezel, you can see that that is fully polished there as well and that is a conical bezel and then you have the flat sapphire just going over the top 
covering that gorgeous dial, it does have some AR treatment on it as you can see the legibility is very good and the whole package just works very well. Now if we go to the left hand side of the watch this one you will get to see a little bit more of that brushing and then the polish on the top and the tiny sliver of polishing on the bottom case there as well and it probably gives you a better chance to look at the lugs I'm not sure, it's just incredible the way that they've done the lugs, you can see the hoods of the lugs are fully polished uh, but hopefully the camera will pick this up, there is actually a small uh, bevel or the way that this has been machined it almost looks as though the lugs are separate to the case and it's just very well finished again this is just the attention to detail that's went into this watch to give it that more extravagant and elegant look Looking at the case back now, we can see that right in the centre there we have the depiction, the design of the Empire State Building, which this watch obviously takes its inspiration from. Um, going around there we can see it's automatic sapphire glass designed in Singapore, stainless steel and 5 Atmos, so this thing will go down 50 metres. I mean, it's not a diver's watch or anything like that. So I think as if you're, you know, having a shave or washing dishes, you should be fine. I'm always a bit wary about crowns without, uh, you know, screw down functionality. So the movement that Vario picked for this one is the Seiko NH38A, which is a dateless complication, a dateless uh, movement, sorry, which is the correct way to do this. This watch does not have a date. So when you're um, winding the watch or pulling the crown out, the stem and all of this sort of stuff, then you're not going to find a ghost position, you're not going to find that phantom position. So me being a watch collector and having OCD, I just love that when the, you know, the watch manufacturers actually use the right movement to fit the watches. We can see the watch ticking away there and if I pull the crown out, it only has that one stop. You can see the seconds hack and that will also allow me to adjust the time as you see fit. And with that NH38A you can expect around about 40 hours of power reserve so that's certainly plenty to get you from day to day. Even if you left this on your bedside cabinet overnight, left it for a day, you could pick it up and it would still be ticking away. The strap that's been paired with this one is a Vario strap, surprise, surprise. And these are very good straps, I'm very familiar with these. I have got quite a few of these in my collection, I can tell you. This is their Italian leather. I don't think it's, they, they do have another option, it's called the Distress Leather. Please do check out their website. And it's so soft, it is so supple. This is 20 millimeter uh, lug width, so you will get the majority of your strap collection on here. On the leather, it just sets it off. I believe this one is called the Pewter Grey, but you can put anything on this. I mean, perhaps even a splash of red would look quite nice on this one. I might have a play around and get some pictures on the old uh, Instagram, so do check me out over there as well. wristwatch check now with the Vario Empire on the wrist and you can see on my six and three quarter inch wrists that this wears no problems at all. There is no hot spots in that smaller case and you're not going to find any overhang. It's not the, the absolute slimmest of watches but you'll have no troubles getting that under a short cuff or jacket. So I have wore this out to dinner and it just feels extremely elegant, very subtle, very dressy, very classy in fact. Yeah, where's like a dream?
Well there you have it, that is the Vario Empire which I have just reviewed and I have got to say it has been an absolute delight wearing this thing over the last couple of weeks. So thank you very much Ivan over at Vario for sending this one in for review. What a treat it's been and if you ever want me to review this one again perhaps in the salmon dial, hint hint, then do give me a holler. I would love to hear you guys thoughts, what do you think of this smaller dress watch? Definitely one for the collection, any collection in fact. Please leave your comments and questions down below. As per usual, I have been Phil at the Loom Room. That has been the Vario Empire. Thanks for checking in.